Hey there, Riverview. Today is Monday, September 16th, and we are on a day two schedule. The Oakmont Chamber of Commerce and the Business District is hosting a fall festival on Saturday, October 12th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you are looking for community service hours, consider helping that day with pumpkin painting, the photo booth, food, music, face painting, or cartoonists. Please see Ms. Kavortek in room 216 today if interested. Uh, the Oakmont Yacht Club is looking for dishwasher, food runner, or food runners. Call or stop in. Um, the number is 412-828-9847. Looking for some new Raider gear. The volleyball team is selling Raider t-shirts. Get your spirit wear in short sleeve, long sleeve, or sweatshirts in white, gray, or pink. Uh, forms are in the office with Ms. Z if you need one. Who really needs Gucci belt, Supreme hoodies, or Yeezys when I can tell you that you can look just as good for a fraction of the price while also supporting your Raider volleyball team? Hey Zach, did you know that the volleyball team is selling brand new t-shirts that have every Raider sport on the front of it, including the football team? Whoa, they must make long sleeves too, Luke. And even better, they make pink ones to support Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But it's getting cold out, Luke. What if I need a hoodie or something? Well, you're in luck, Zach, because they make hoodies too. Make sure you put your order in before Friday to make sure it gets filled out in time. If you are in the junior high and are interested in joining a book club, please attend our first information meeting on Tuesday, September 17th. We will meet from 2.30 to 2.50 after school in room 101, Miss Morgan's room. Junior high and underclassmen girls are invited to come to practice with the girls varsity tennis team prior to their match today and after school this week. If you think that you would enjoy playing, there's a good opportunity to try out tennis and meet the current team members. The junior high cross country team had a great performance on Friday. The team was very excited to watch their first full girls team and largest girls team in a long time to hit the Kiski course. The boys team came out strong and were able to secure a second place finish out of a handful of much larger schools and one of three runners. They were led by medalist Chris Barnes, 6th, Hol uh, Holden Deasy, 9th, and Cohen Hulen, 10th, Michael Ivey, 17th, just barely missed meddling. Uh, Brody Howell, Will Orban, and Reese Stemfer uh, sol solidified our first seven scores for the team's second place finish. On Saturday, the Roy's, the Riverview Boys soccer team was locked in a 0-0 tie with Aquinas Academy at the half, but found the net twice in the second half to earn a hard-fought section win. Senior captain Joey Flandick got the Raiders on board off of a Thandie Black throw-in. Ten minutes later, Captain Nick O'Toole showed why he's a top player in single A with an impressive individual effort beating four uh, Aquinas players. Last on a spin move to give the Raiders some breathing room. Riverview takes on section foe Eden at Riverside Park Tuesday at 4 p.m. That's all our news and NASA's for today, Riverview. Don't forget to stand for the pledge and have a great day.